있지만 20 minutes? No. Oh, okay, no problem. That's not it. Uh, basically, we were just stuck in visa uh, office. Uh, apparently, what happened was that our visa uh, agency they put the wrong date. So instead, so instead of 2019, they put 2018. Basically, it took us around two hours to get out of this airport. When we went to go and pick up our check bag, we couldn't find it, and we gave them the ticket, to, um, the tag for our bag. And they went looking for it and they couldn't find it and then we finally found it on the floor just randomly in the middle of the airport. We were like, thank God we don't need another dilemma today. It was very stressful. Anyways, we're here now, um, so let's go see what Hanoi has to offer for us. Yeah. Opposite. Opposite. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much guys, really appreciate thank it. You. So we just got into the city centre. On the bus, I swear I have never seen traffic that mad in my life. We arrived at rush hour. <laughs> so it's just a sea of like cars and motorbikes yeah. and buses and Mainly motorbikes, yeah. mainly motorbikes everywhere. Even when the green light goes on on a pedestrian walk, there's still loads of bikes going through yeah. and everyone's just like texting on their bikes and no one's even looking. Now we're just trying to find the second bus to get to the place where we're going. Uh, might be there. Should we try it there? Yeah. We just got on the wrong bus. We got on the right bus, but we were on the wrong side, so we were going the wrong way. So now we have to go and find a different bus and get on that. Yeah, we got on the wrong. We got on the wrong side because Mario listened to me, basically. So the trying to preempt pre you. <laughs> But Olivia's right. trying to prem to you, but the thing is, I've listened to Olivia and now we're here. Fuck knows where. No. I'm always right. Alright, let's just go. So we just stopped in a cafe to get some food and drink because it's been a stressful day. The buses here are so confusing, we have no idea what's going on, so we're just gonna get a taxi from where we are. Because um, it's rush hour, we're waiting for rush hour to end and then we're going to book it so it'll be cheaper. Um, we're using an app called Grab. Apparently it's like the Uber of Vietnam. So it should, I think it'll be about £4 to get to where we're going. So that's not too bad for both of us. Is it? Yep. I'm um, bringing some local. <laughs> Mario's very excited about the beer. How do you feel now you've got a beer? I feel like life ain't as, as bad anymore. <laughs> uh, it's way much more chill than I thought it was five minutes ago. So we've been using Couchsurfing app and we had plenty of different kind of offers to stay in free homestays which cost us zero money. And all we're gonna do in exchange for that, just teach English for like two hours a day. And that's how we're gonna get our free accommodation. We are thinking that this might be the place Still not 100% sure, but we're we'll going to check it out. Hello. Hello. We finally found it. Oh, <laughs> hey, how are you? Yeah, camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we just vlog. Yeah, so how are you doing? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm cool. Nice to meet you, I'm Mario. I'm Olivia. 
Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good. And you? Yeah, I've just been uh, tripping around Hanoi finding this place. Okay. Lithuania. Lithuania? Lithuania? But I, I live in England anyway, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a complicated, it's a very small country. Yeah, somewhere in Eastern Europe, like, you know, it's like Germany, Poland, uh, Baltic okay. country. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. So we're buying a SIM card right now in this uh, SIM card mobile phone shop. Um, so we just met with the local people in here. We're staying in our homestay. How much is this SIM card again? Just 40,000. 40,000. So that's around just over one pound. That's pretty good with a SIM card. I mean, you got all the internet and stuff, and apparently you get like two gigs a day. That's a lot. We got to the homestay and we met the people, they seem really lovely. I think uh, we're like the only foreigners in here which yeah. is also pretty pretty cool. Um, <laughs> right now we're just about to explore. The only bad and quite sad thing is that the place we are staying, uh, they have a boy and a girl separate yeah. rooms so that means, <laughs> that means that everybody's really friendly and say, saying hello and stuff. <laughs> Where we staying is like strictly no beers, strictly no smokes, strictly no boys and girls in the same room. <laughs> yeah, it's very. Which is gonna be interesting. Everything. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we shall see how that goes. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now, apparently, because you're not allowed to, to, to drink there, so we're just gonna go and have a cheeky little beer, and then after that, apparently, we're supposed to go and teach English. I never done that before in my life, but hey, let's go and see how it goes. But for now, let's go and enjoy that beer, okay? <laughs> I think this is our first ever draft beer in in this whole of the trip. We still haven't had a single draft beer, and I was. Thailand doesn't have much. No, not really. Um, so we're gonna taste this thing, see how it goes. Hello, where are you from? I'm from. I'm from Lithuania. Do you know where is Lithuania? It's in Europe. Yeah. This beer. Yeah, 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 it's very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. So we were like waiting for the bill to come. We were like, hmm, how much is gonna be for them three draft beers that were so delicious as well? All together we paid thirty thousand, which is a pound. One, one pound, pound for three beers and, and none. <laughs> Can you? Right, some good times are gonna come soon. It's like I don't understand. Oh my god, this is this is this made my night. <laughs> can I cannot wait to come back there and have a lot of beer for barely any money because that's how we go yeah. and that's how we roll. Travels on toes, baby. <laughs> Good morning. So we just woke up in the homestay the first night. Well, um, my back hurts, but we decided to sleep on a hammock last night because, um, so first of all, um, the bed where we're staying, the bunks, they don't have any kind of mattress, and it's just like concrete, just like pure concrete. It's just like sleeping on the floor, yeah. basically. And we didn't have like any pillows or any uh, beddings. So the hammock was pretty much the best choice ever. So I'm really, really grateful I'm that you brought a hammock. Yeah, it's like, it was the life savior last night. Although the sounds, I heard the most random sounds last night. Yeah, we saw a massive owl last night. Yeah. Like massive, it was like about this big. Um, and then there's all kinds of weird noises and sounds. It's like drumming and... and it feels like someone has like a massive, incredibly big pot and it's dragging around the concrete. I wonder if they can hear it. Probably gonna go and trying to find the motorbike to buy. Um, we're not expecting a lot from, for food in this area because we were trying to find uh, vegetarian food last yeah. night and it was uh, pretty much almost impossible. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. probably. So, <sighs> right, should we crack on with our day? Yeah. Right, cool. See you guys in a bit. Hey. Hey. 
pretty, right? Uh, right. Google Translate doesn't always work when you're trying to translate a Vietnamese menu. Yeah, basically. I think it works just fine. What are you on about? That's what it means. Just They're selling shit as a side, yeah, apparently. The chip swarm is accurate, but maybe not the shit. My stomach is literally hurting right now. Um, and guess what? Olivia just found a place with this name, very familiar name, saying pizza. <laughs> we thought pizza is the easiest option right now, just to eat something. I just need any kind so of food, hungry. yeah. Um, literally, I eat a lot and I haven't eaten for nearly two days. And yeah, straight after the pizza, our bike seller is arriving, so we're about to buy a really cheap motorbike. Um, so I'm gonna go and check the bike really, really soon. Guess what I just brought home? Language. It's a Yamaha, Yamaha yeah. and Yamahas are really really cool bikes. What have you just done? Um, the only issue I had with the whole journey was your damn phone! What? Every time we drive, right? So there's this app that you have. And it obviously if it vibrates oh, a bit, it goes Bixby. into Bixby. Oh, yeah. And like obviously it will vibrate because I'm driving the whole time. Bixby and every, every every like a, a two or one or two seconds I would have to be click off, click off, and then uh, Theresa May's face would come up and I'm like trying to switch this off and I'm looking <laughs> at the road the same and I'm in Hanoi city center and it's mental and I just wanna smash this into the wall by now. Bam, but I can't <laughs> on mine, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna disable Bixby because it's very annoying. What a mission! But hey, here's our baby. We're ready to hit the road now. Ooh. Woo I must pay. Um, so it was two fifty yeah. dollars, uh, but I managed to like work my way down to just two forty, and Ooh. still managed to. Uh, but everything's fine. They still have insurance for two more weeks. Um, everything's been changed. I mean, I just drove myself. Uh, Seems really, really good, and it's pretty fast as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was so driving in Hanoi. Uh, it was pretty uh, hectic. Um, there was literally everyone coming out from everywhere, and all I was doing just beeping the whole time, beep beep, and <laughs> and doing the Bixby thing app, just trying to switch swipe that off. <laughs> which was uh, it was pretty challenging. I was pretty pretty irritated. I was pretty annoyed, but I'm here now. I'm a, I'm alive, and the bike is here. So ready to hit the road. Так, на петрол стейшн у нас здесь, да, да. А я не проезжаю там, нет, сейчас. Starting to hit the scenic routes now, finally. Still got a long way to go. Uh, but the beginning is here. And we're ready to hit the road, baby. So we just detected the problem. The problem was the tire, and now we're getting a patch on it. So we are gonna be sorted, and hopefully, gonna go back on the road really, really soon. Back on the road, and it turns out that getting a patch on the tire only costs twenty thousand dong, which is. P? 70p. Uh, so that's pretty good. Less than a pound to fix my tires. And it didn't. He didn't take long at all. Everybody was really helpful. So far, we really love Vietnam. And now we're back on our way to Hong. Where are we Fong. going? Hong. Oh, no, Fong. I don't really know the name, but somewhere there, towards the, the beach side. Towards how long, Bay, basically. So after a very, very bumpy road, uh, we finally got here uh, to this place. It's called Hai Durong. We didn't make it to where we were supposed to go. That will take us another probably two days to get there. Yeah. Um, so we had a few issues out there with the motorbike, but finally the local people helped us out. We do not recommend um, motorbiking in the dark. It was yeah. like we were on some paths, so there was no street lights. There's like potholes and rocks just everywhere. Because you can't drive on the most, some of the motorways on a motorbike, it's only for cars and lorries. So you have to drive on like a side road next to the motorway and it's just dodgy yeah. roads. I don't so. know why we decided to leave Hanoi at like 4 in the afternoon thinking well, that we're going to go. we're gonna get to Halong Bay. Then we were just following Google Maps, um, but Google Maps shows you how to drive 
as a car. Uh, but the thing is, we were driving a motorbike and then we appeared in this massive motorway and then the guy says like, yo, pull over, you need to go that way. And then eventually we got into the scenic routes. But the scenic routes uh, kind of ended and what it, what it was, it got really, really dark. Like, and it was like really bumpy, like rusty, yeah, rusty you roads. Yeah, just flying into I know. your face, in your mouth. <laughs> Disgusting. Yeah, it was a bit, in a way, it was I was like kind of like freaking out. I was like, where are we going to get? We was in the middle of nowhere in some random villages. So we decided to stop in this uh, town called Hydrong. And now we're finally here enjoying our food, which is lovely. But what we're gonna do now, we're probably gonna have some more food, have some more drinks, and then we're gonna go and chill in our hostel, and uh, we're gonna start our journey towards... Halong Bay? Towards Halong Bay, so keep it locked, guys. Right, we just had this incredible breakfast in this beautiful place, uh, same place where we had food yesterday. Um, we had this weird, interesting coffee, but it was really strong, it was really good, so that's like woke me up a little bit for the road and now we're about to hit the road. So now, this is this, this indication in here <laughs> no, people drive on bikes It says fairy. There's gonna be loads of them. So it's like a keg, but like it's a keg where you open it yourself. Yeah. Okay. 
Mmm, I see. We just bring this right out of there. <laughs> no, but like, I'm starting to like this now. <laughs> Getting used to it. Mario's got his own cake. <laughs> Xin Chao. We are finally here in Haiphong. The road here was pretty chill compared to yesterday's road when we were driving at night. We're only here for one night and tomorrow we're gonna go to an island called Katba. We really wanna explore that because apparently it's like an alternative to Halong Bay, although it's way much cheaper and it's way less touristy, yeah. which that's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, um, the whole point of this channel is to show you the cheaper way of traveling. And exactly. You wanna avoid the touristy spots that'll be more expensive, so we're thinking we'll do that instead. Yeah, it's been uh, quite a long journey so we're just gonna enjoy our food right now because we're pretty hungry and our, and our beautiful keg <laughs> of beer uh, <laughs> I've never seen anything like that uh, but yeah let's enjoy our food and we'll see you guys in a bit so after we had food earlier we ran into a couple of problems with my laptop we got it out to edit and the screen was black but the keyboard was lighting up and it was turning on but it wasn't on so it's called the black screen of death <laughs> apparently <laughs> yeah so we've um, we've taken it to a repair shop because we couldn't get it to reboot by looking up the different methods online. None of them worked, so we've taken it to the repair shop and the guy didn't really know what was going on with it. So he said he'll ring us tomorrow and let us know if he can fix it or not. And that automatically stops our plans because we decided yeah. to go to Kadba Island. Uh, which is a beautiful place. This bell in the tourist and it's really really cheap, but now we're stuck here in Haiphong. Um, and mm. we'll see what's gonna happen, uh, but we're gonna do our best to get this laptop fixed to continue our series because without it we cannot do that. Bit of a downer today. Oh well, it's one of those. There's always ups and downs on traveling. <laughs> exactly. So just had a walk in a local market looking for some flip-flops and we encountered a few nasty things. We wasn't sure if we wanted to show you these guys but like we mentioned earlier in our very first episodes we're gonna show you all the roughest parts and their reality, the way people live here and it's their culture, it's, it's what they do basically, you know. And like it or not, you know, you can bring your activism vibes but it's just the way it is. To me it's very sad but to them mm. it's just... Yeah, to them it's just very normal apparently, yeah. But hey, see what else we got in this market. Maybe find some fruit stalls. So we just done a, a little bit of shopping for, for the road. So the roads in here are really, really dusty. So we invested a tiny little bit of money to buy one of those. Basically, it helps you to prevent all the dust, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, exactly. And then we got some super cheap flip-flops as well, because we didn't brought any with us. Um, because they're pretty cheap in here anyways. We got two pairs of flip-flops for less than three pounds. Just fair play, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, so yeah, we're probably gonna go find some place to eat our breakfast. And then we'll see what's going on with the laptop and hopefully can continue our journey, because we really want to leave this out as soon as possible. <laughs> We're leaving Haiphong now, we're going to Katba Island, we just paid for the ferry. Yeah, that's some good news, we're really excited to leave this place now. Um, it was yeah. pretty rough little place. The, um, the laptop's alright, it just needs a screen changing, so we're going to come back and get it in a couple of days. Hopefully it'll be ready. Yeah, but now we're getting a ferry, uh, our motorbike, uh, I can see is just right there. Attached on it's the, the only roof, motorbike. <laughs> uh, but it's really, really good news. Uh, it's only, I think, about two, how long does it say? Two hours or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, um, and the prices were a slightly bit more than we expected. It's about fifteen pounds for in the end. us two and, and the, the bike. bike. Yeah. So once we get there on the island, we'll have the bike straight away, so we can explore the island in the best possible way. But for now, we're just gonna go on the ferry and enjoy our boat ride.
right to Catball Island. Catball Island. Whee! Finally here. Um, the the boat trip was really quick. It was like just an hour. Yeah, we thought it'd be longer. Yeah. Through the shop. <laughs> I fell asleep. So. The island looks beautiful. Yeah. It looks gorgeous. Uh, our little baby in here as well with us. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna pack and go now. Cannot wait to explore, got the really itchy feet right now.